Welcome to myprojectbazaar.com Now we are going to discuss about the project detection and identification of artificially ripened fruits using MATLAB. Now we are going to discuss about the abstract of the process. Fruits at any given time has different maturity levels. Therefore, it is necessary to recognize the appropriate patterns to determine the level of maturities. Maybe it will having the low maturity or else it will having the more than the above maturities. One of the recognition patterns of tomatoes or any other fruits and vegetables of an image is to use the texture and color analysis. Texture analysis can be proposed using the gray level co-occurrence matrix that is the GLCM algorithm. GLCM is chosen because it is an higher degree of recognition based on the value of the contrast, correlation, homogeneity, energy, entropy and some other points. Furthermore, for color analysis on the one of the methods that can be used in this process that is the HOG by utilizing the features and object with the certain colors can be detected and reduce the influence of the intensity of light and then other outside sources. The result of GLCM calculations can be classified to determine the maturity level of fruits whether the fruit is having the good quality or else the fruit is having the bad quality whatever the fruit's quality may be. Hence we have to detect the features by using the GLCM method by continuously after applying the GLCM we are going to apply the K nearest neighbor classification to detect whether the quality of the fruit is the good or bad. Hence we are simply using the classification then the performance of the classification will be estimated based on the performance parameters like accuracies. By using that accuracy only we can justify our processes doing good or not. Now we are going to discuss about the flow diagram of the process. This is the overall working flow of this process. The module consists in this project is input, pre-processing, segmentation, feature extraction, classification and finally performance estimation. At first the input stage. In this input stage the input image is taken from the dataset. The dataset having the different kind of fruits type. After getting the any one image from the dataset we have to detect the pre-processing. In this pre-processing we have an two kinds of steps is there. One is the image resize then the another one is the grayscale conversion. In this resize, we have to resize the image into a particular size of 256 cross 256 which means the size of the row will be the 256, size of the column will be the 256. After converting the image into a 256 cross 256 size, we have to convert the image into a grayscale format or else the separating the RGB channels. So if the input is having the color image means it will have to segregate the channels into an RGB. Why we go for the channel separation in this sense? During the segmentation, if it is an RGB image means it will be difficult for the segmentation. So that reason the RGB channels will be separated and then it will be converted into a grayscale form. Then the grayscale image will be the input for the segmentation. Here we are using the threshold based segmentation to extract the region of the fruit. After the extraction of the region, we are just move to the next step of the project that is the feature extraction. In this feature extraction we are going to extract the features by means of the algorithm named as GLCM that is the gray level co-occurrence matrix. After extracting the features by using this algorithm the classification will be carried out by means of the KNN classifier. KNN in the sense K nearest neighbor. In this classification we have an three kinds of input for the classifier that is the test feature, train feature and target. The test feature represents the feature of the input image. The train feature represents the features of the overall dataset image. Then the target represents the number of categories. For example, in my dataset, we have an five categories of fruits in the sense. We have an targets like one, two, three, four, and five. Finally, the classification results will show the which type of fruit it was recognized.
then finally the performance estimation in this performance estimation we have three kinds of performance in the sense accuracy sensitivity and specificity based on these three parameters we can justify or process this efficient or not now we are going to discuss about the initial running procedure of the process at first open the matlab 2015b and change the current directory if you want to execute the file just right click in the main underscore gui dot em and select the option run now the user interface was open in that user interface you can see the several push buttons in the right side for the controlling actions and then the several axes and tables in the left side for display purpose first of all click the button input image after click this button data set will be open in that data set you can see the several image types you have to select any one image from the data set after the selection of the corresponding image in the data set the corresponding image is shown in the access one with the title of input image after the input we just move to the next step of the process that is the pre processing in this pre processing we have an two stages of pre processing the major stage is the resize and grayscale conversion in between we have to include the filtering the image if the input image is having the filter uh, noises in the sense it it should be remove the noises by using the filtering method the figure 2 indicates the noise removed image if it is having the any noises it will be removed or else the image will be the remain same after the filtering we just move on to the next stage of the pre processing that is the image resize in the image resize we have to resize the image in the size of 256 class 256 which means the number of row will be the 256 number of column will be the 256 after resizing the image we just move on to the third stage of the pre processing that is the grayscale conversion you can see the difference here the rgb image having the some color channels in the gray scale image only having the single color band not the rgb bands after done the pre processing we have to extract the features from the image by using clicking this button we have to extract the features like glcm features hq features and histogram features mainly we have considered the glcm feature and histogram features why we are considering the glcm feature and histogram feature in the sense glcm feature will extract the textures features from the image then the histogram features will extract the color patterns from the image then these three pad these three features are combined together to generate the test feature like this this is the values represents the test feature this is the value represents the glcm feature this is the value for hue features then this is for the histogram features after extracting all the features from the image we just directly move for the classification step in this classification step it will recognize which kind of fruits is this so here we are found the fruit type as the grapes hence the, it is displayed in the message boxes after the classification we just move to the performance estimation in this performance estimation we have on three kinds of performance like accuracy sensitivity and specificity these are the values of accuracy sensitivity and specificity thanks for watching this video